Do you need to embellish your... Okay, those flip-flops are fun, right? But it's just a boring old flip-flop. There's no flowers. There's no glitz. There's no glamour. And you know what you can do? You can go to the store and get a pair for like a dollar, three dollars, and then turn them into something really cool to impress your friends and make your toes look good. This is Maria Bartholdi. She's our quirky crafter, and we're having some summertime fun. I yes, like your hair. Are. Thank you. I feel like I should be at the races. Very nice. Well, uh, I got But you know, cool. there's no flowers or glitz no, or anything. No, I could have glammed this up too. You could have. You could have done something. Put a little something. flower here. But we're talking about our tootsies today, right? Yes, our Did tootsies. Did you have fun doing this? I had a lot of fun doing this. You start out with something plain and make it into something awesome. So, I mean, come on. Okay, so the sandal that we just saw yes. on that video is boring. Look at this. The toes look good, but the sandal is boring. Boring. Sad little boring flip-flop. What are you going to do to it? Sad face. Well, <laughs> we, we can do a lot to these. One of my favorite things is to add flowers to the ends because it really makes your toes kind of stand out if you have a nice pedicure going on, something like that. Okay, and I've seen this before, but I have no idea how to attach the flower to the flip -flop. Sure, there's a couple of different ways. This one I use a cute little sunflower, my favorite flower. You get them at the store, the craft yep. stores, just like this in a bunch, and you clip it off? You can just pull it off. Try it. There you go. Shut up. There's the fun part. Okay. Pulling the heads off, just like, you know, the old daisy thing. Right. So what you can do is you can either use a hot glue gun to attach right here. Right. This has a little plastic kind of T-shape, okay. so that really takes the hot glue very well. Another thing you can do is you literally can buy something like this. It's called Gem Tack, and it's specifically for attaching gems and flowers to flip-flops. Really? Yeah. You wouldn't think they would make something like this. But they but do. they do. Okay. So, so we're not the to first do. to do this. No, we're not. It's Even not. though this is the first time I'm doing this. Okay. Yeah, you just need to put a little glue down the middle here and okay. stick your flower right you on the end. You want me to work on that sure, since there that you didn't go. come out? Yeah, it takes a little to squeeze them sometimes. But yeah, that that or hot glue and it'll stay uh, it'll okay. stay on your foot. Yeah, it's not Or you're working. having some trouble. It's okay. There we go. In theory. Like that? Is <laughs> yeah, that too like much? That. No, it'll be fine. It'll dry okay. clear. And so we just stick the flower there on the end. Like that? Making sure the uh, the thick part oh. comes through the back. I'll turn this around so okay. you can see that uh, the stem is sticking out the back like this. And with, then you can cut it off with the little scissors. Okay. Nice sharp pair Got of it. scissors and it'll okay. stay off. Got it. So that will, uh, you let that dry. It'll take a little while to dry or set. And what you can also do is... The, this kind of band is a little plain and boring. Yes. So I like to put a little ribbon around. Okay, how did you do that? I'm bored with it. Well, this is a beautiful little green kind of satiny ribbon here that I had that I put on our sunflower flip-flop. And what you can do, too, is uh, there's a lot of good ribbon sales right now. Check in the bargain bin because there's beautiful patterns. Yeah. I got this ribbon right here for a dollar. It's really nice. The and whole thing for a dollar. whole thing for a dollar. You could do a lot of flip-flops with that. You could. You could okay. do a lot. And uh, the thing to look for is sturdier ribbon, you know. You don't want it to be too flimsy because then, you're, you know, it's going to fall off or your feet are going to get it dirty or something. But this kind of thing, this is sturdy ribbon. And then at the end, on. how did you secure that at the hot end after wrapping Hot glue, once it? again. Another hot glue. Yep, just and a dab. what I like that you've done is in the middle of the sunflower and in the middle of this pink flower, yep. you even added more. Yeah, a little bling. I put a little tiny... Uh, gemstone in the middle of the flower because uh, it gives it a little extra sparkle there. That is fantastic. Okay, so bling up your flip-flops, but you also want to look good in a hat, right? Yes. And you can make some fun ones for the kids. This is darling. It's a shark hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's darling. I love it. And then you have another one, one yep. of those, um, the beach hats right there, and you embellished hat. it with what? This is just felt, and I just put it on with some fabric glue dressed it up with some uh, ribbon right here, made a little sun with a little palm tree, and it took me literally about two minutes, and these hats are a buck fifty, you know? Where did you find it? I found these at Michael's. For a dollar fifty? Yep. A little bucket hat? Yeah. How cute is that? And what did you use for the shark fins here? The shark what is fin that? is just foam. You can buy it in different colors and thicknesses, and it's just little foam. You just cut it out and attach with some hot glue. You are crafty, Maria. Oh, a little you. quirky, too. A little quirky. And you're going to be back next hour doing yes, what? Yes, I am. We're going to make a tic-tac towel, and then we're going to make some uh, great shells to put on to play at the beach with, tote bags, that kind of thing. Okay, this one says Rach on it. Yeah, that's good. got my name on it. Let's see if it fits. And you're watching Good Day Wisconsin. We'll be back. I do have cute toes. Ooh. Look at that! <laughs> Check it out! 